you enjoyed every minute of our little adventure. I can tell by the sparkle in your eyes. Yeah, a lovely lady named Captain Colleen might just be planning a heist. Thing is, most of Port Hunding is in Bosek's pockets, so she needs help that's not. Help like you and me. Convince Colleen to cut us in, and we'll make some good money. And what might you want? You're not with Bosek, are you? No, you don't look dumb enough. So tell me this, if I was planning something, why would I need you? Crafty Larissa, eh? I won't lie, she'd be a big help getting what I want to steal. You get me Larissa, and I'll cut you both in on the take. Deal? You're in. I've got some preparations to make, and then we're as good as gone. I'm looking forward to getting back to the open seas. Not here. Too many of Bosek's ears around. I sent Lambor to scout out a nice, quiet spot to gather our crew. Look for her at our hideout by the docks. I'll slip out and meet you there. If any of the Bloody Fists ask what you're up to, just tell them you're out for a stroll. Don't mess with the Fists. Deserted the traitors. See, there's a fortune to be made from Breton Galleons. Thing is, King Farharajad called for an end to it now that we're all part of the Daggerfall Covenant. Of course, as a loyal Red Guard, I obeyed. If by disagreed you mean tried to kill us, then yes. Bunch of bloody mutineers. Lambor, myself, and a few others ran them off the ship, but word spread. No one here wants to sail with a captain who won't raid Bretons. Bloody Bosek, or Headman Bosek, as he calls himself now. He took over the palace years ago, killed the old ruler and took his place. Captain Helene, but she's worse than Bosek. Her sea drakes run Saint's Port south of here, biggest band of murderers on the sea. Bosek and Helene tolerate each other. Neither's ready for a war, yet. Deserted the traitors. See, there's a fortune to be made from Breton Galleons. Thing is, King Farhan, ruler of the Red Guard people, now king among equals in the Daggerfall Covenant. King Farharajad would have us raid the ships of our enemies, not our allies. There is wisdom in that. We've got a crew to rival the legends. Time to make some money, don't you agree? Now we're ready for the real challenge, the heist. The target's Bosek. That slimy bastard's finally going to get what's coming to him. We're going to steal his sailing logs. His sailing logs are the key to our fortune, friend. They're the records of every ship that's docked here, every stolen cargo they've unloaded, and every illicit payment made to Bosek. Those records are worth a fortune to King Vaharajad. They're written proof that Bosek has violated the King's order to stop raiding Breton shipping. With those papers in hand, the King can threaten to destroy Bosek if he doesn't stop. Absolutely. His envoy is on the dock now, waiting. 
As soon as we turn over the sailing logs, he gives us a fortune in gold. The trick will be getting into Bosek's palace, stealing the logs, and getting out with them. That's your job. First, you need a servant's disguise to get into the palace. The papers are in a lockbox on the top floor. Bosek has the only key. Slip this powder into his drink, then grab the key. The lockbox is always guarded. The guard's not bright, but he'll raise the alarm if anyone tries to open the box. Deal with him quietly. No stabbing. Lambour and I will have the ship ready to sail when you return with the papers. Mm, quite the motley crew, aren't we? She's right. You need a disguise to get anywhere near Bosek. Fortunately, you have me. Just say the word and I can have servant clothes waiting for you at the palace. My pleasure. Meet me outside the palace. I'll pick out something special for you. It's a wonderful day for a sailing trip, isn't it, friend? Especially if it gets me off this rock before Bosek chops off my head. Bosek keeps the key around his neck, cinched steel. I'll get the key off Bosek. Meet me out back. Get your disguise and meet me out back. Leave Bosek to me. Oh, yes. Hello. This is fascinating. Did you know the Dwemer had devices to rapidly mince fruit? I can offer help with the guard, perhaps. You wish to deal with him quietly, correct? I remove this device from Clanker. When pressed, it produces quite the incapacitating shock. If you would test it for me, preferably on a living subject, I would be grateful. Let me know if there are any lingering effects. Twitching, mainly. I'm quite curious about the twitching. Sitting here, Malorum. We should head to Saint's Port. who's come to pay a visit. Oh yes, try these on. I'm sure they'll fit you just right. In the meantime, I'll just continue my sweep of the palace. The gods have abandoned Stros Mackay. his bones what is it now shouted at you too did he he just went out back to carouse with the latest slatterns from the mainland best hurry up and refill his drink you don't want him running out of drink
Ah, my lowly servant, you're just in time. My dear friend Headman Bosek is sleeping off the attentions of these two lovely ladies. They are quite a handful, and an eyeful, too. Why don't you take the good Headman's key inside for safekeeping? My friend, welcome back. Do you have some good news? Here you are, Tharwab. The shipping logs that show Bosek's defiance of the King's decrees. Come on, it's time to go. On your feet, man your stations. Prepare to sail. Finally, home to Betnik. I've missed my clan. Captain Colleen took her time getting off this damned island. Doesn't surprise me. Orc problems aren't her problems. But we'd be stuck here if not for your help. I won't forget that. Before we leave for Betnik, talk to the crew. Get familiar with them. It'll be a long trip. If there's one thing Master Kassan taught me, it's that knowing your ship and crew keeps you alive. Seems like you'd make a fine captain someday, but you'll have to find your own ship. Captain Colleen took her time. Before we leave for Betnik, then we leave for Betnik, an orc island that hasn't yet joined the Covenant. I hope to change that. Lembor's happy to go home. She may try to thank you with ale. My advice? Make it to six mugs. You'll have a friend for life.
When my crew turned traitor, I never thought I'd see Betnik again. Feels good. Head into town and get a drink. This is home, and we'll be here for a while. Here's your cut of the take from the heist. Careful here. These orcs aren't...